Good morning and happy Friday. Thanks for tuning to upnorthlive.com for a look at your forecast. I'm meteorologist Colleen Melberg. Gorgeous day in store today. Mostly sunny skies, one you definitely don't want to miss out on. And quiet weather is actually going to remain for today and all the way through the weekend. So definitely enjoy it while it's here because it's not going to last, unfortunately. We are going to see some more wintry weather begin to return back to northern Michigan by next Tuesday, which could cause some hassles for those of you heading out for the holidays this year. So just something to keep in mind. Now the reason for our gorgeous weather today is that high pressure system located right across the Illinois, Iowa and Missouri border. It's going to be bringing in all that dry air today, keeping us pretty cloud free for the most part, although we could see some clouds begin to move in later today, but otherwise just lots of sunshine and very dry weather. Although we do have a system way out to our west, which is what's going to be bringing our next round of some wintry weather just in time for Christmas. Temperatures this morning on the cool side. Clear skies this morning has left us in the single digits for some and very low teens towards Alpena and Traverse City. Definitely bundle up as you head out the door this morning because it is cold, but we saw lots of stars this morning. We'll continue to see another chance for another stargazing night tonight as temperatures once again cool back down into those single digits. Now, Compared to this time yesterday, there's a big temperature difference, about a 20 degree temperature difference. In fact, yesterday woke up into the mid 30s, this time waking up in single digits and teens. You can see some of the big uh, changes around Grayling, even towards Frankfurt, about a 20 to 23 degree difference. So it feels a lot colder than what we've been seeing these past few days, so it may feel a little extra chilly today than it has been for these past few weeks, in fact. Here's a look at satellite cover. We are going to continue to see mostly sunny skies. A few clouds are going to try and work their way in from the west. So we are going to see those clouds returning later this afternoon, but for the most part, lots of sunshine is expected once again. Now we've been talking about a big storm for next week, which could impact some travel plans for that holiday, especially for Christmas. But here's what we're thinking about timing for rain and snow. So Monday, we are going to have this big low pressure system off to our south and west. It's been pulling in a warm front, which means lots of warm air is going to be moving in, increasing our temperatures to above freezing. So that's why we are going to be seeing some rain and snow for the lower peninsula on Tuesday, followed by some snow showers in the upper peninsula on Tuesday. It is going to be just cold enough for snow, but it'll be right close to that freezing mark. It's going to be pretty slushy and could make a mess on those roadways. Then by Wednesday, Christmas Eve day, that cold front is going to track further to the east, bringing a push of cold air in, which means a lot of that rain is going to transition into snow, even though we could see some rain showers mixing in. Once again, we could see some slick or icy spots on the road, so just be very careful if you have plans to travel Christmas Eve. And then by the time we reach Christmas Day on Thursday, that cold front will continue to track its way across our area. With still that cold air in place, it looks like most of that rain will be all snow. So at this point in time, it looks like we will be seeing a white Christmas, but we'll just continue to watch this as it continues to track our way over these next few days. So today, gorgeous, lots of sunshine. Definitely head out to enjoy it. Weekend, very quiet temperatures in the low 30s, but that rain and snow does return by Tuesday, Wednesday with snow just in time for Christmas.